Hi Virgo, welcome to your timeless reading for the week ahead. Please remember these readings are general and for the collective, so take what resonates for your situation and leave the rest. If you feel this message doesn't resonate, then head on over to one of your other placements. We're looking at Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs here. Okay, so Virgo, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your ongoing support, your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Your support means the absolute world to me, so thank you so much for that. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, because it really does help to support my channel. Okay, so Virgo, let's check out your message of the week. Surrender to the magic of who you are nice energy we all have magic in us even in the mundane aspects of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you love that energy for you virgo let's explore your energy a little bit more a change in the wind okay so i'm loving this energy already for you there's going to be an unexpected change here for you. And you're not going to believe your luck. I feel like this is going to feel like a really good change. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My life, my love for you is as deep as the ocean. Don't rush into this, okay? There may be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised at where it leads. Okay, so a change in the wind, that really reminds me of the tower energy there where there's this unexpected change that you're trying to resist here. But spirit is coming in and telling you to surrender to the magic of who you are. Look deep within your heart here, okay? This could be you feeling the love of your magic, listening to the intuition that is driving you because that intuition is there for a reason, to guide you, protect you, okay? You are unique. You are definitely someone who's got something unique about you that you've not been tapping into. And spirit is urging you now to look deep within yourself. Do that soul searching. Listen to that gut feeling. There's no rush here. I feel like divine timing is at play here for you, for sure. So just allow nature to take its course here. If this is a situation between you and another person, then I feel that there is closeness between the two of you. And maybe you've been a bit codependent. There's been a bit of codependency there. So the change in the wind is you becoming independent again. Becoming you again. You know, not relying and depending on a person or your person to bring you joy, success and happiness. Look, the star in reverse, in reverse here is loss of hope. So you've been feeling a sense of despair, a sense of disappointment, a lot of negative energy around you. But this change is going to happen to shift the dynamics, shift the energies between you and your person because you do need some space. You need some space to connect with you again, to become independent. Look at that. You've been going through a cycle, I feel, quite a difficult, challenging cycle here. And it's, you're going to be up and down in life. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. And I feel like there's something that you've been resisting, the change. And now you're going to embrace it. I feel like you have no option uh, to embrace it because something you've been resisting something you've been really fighting against changing it's going to change and it's going to bring in this amazing new energy the world card here is a new chapter a new cycle this new energy this transformation that is going to really help you to wow work on you and tap into you your uniqueness the Eight of Pentacles is mastering your craft. This is becoming the master a skill, in a skill that you've got that is allowing you to be you. I feel like you've lost your way. I feel like a, there's a situation here where you've lost your sense of self. And I feel like spirit is helping you to get that back. So having that time away 
Maybe you are in separation with your person right now, or maybe you've been codependent in a relationship. Either way, there's going to be a change and it's going to be a positive change because you've got this two of cups here coming in for you, which is bringing in a new a new opportunity, a, a new deepened soul connection with someone. Your bond is deepening with someone else as a result of you becoming independent and going your own way and doing your own thing and having that healthy balance of being with them and doing your own thing. It's really important that you stay true to you as well. Oh, two cards have come out here for you. Nine of Cups, Wishes Fulfilled and the Page of Cups here. So definitely a new Wishes Fulfilled, emotionally fulfilling opportunity here for you by taking some time out, okay? Again, you've got the King of Pentacles in reverse here. This is definitely pointed to someone who has been relying on an, another person to bring happiness and joy. And it's really important that you, you take control of your your own destiny, your own fate and put yourself back on the path where you need to be. This is beautiful energy. Your wishes are being fulfilled here. With that nine, nine of cups here, two of wands, you stepping outside of your comfort zone again, independence. Independence is going to allow you to achieve what you need to in your on your life path and bring you this ten of wands, which is going, going it alone for a while. Okay, the ten of wands can sometimes mean that you're sharing your burdens and sharing too much of yourself with someone, giving too much of yourself to someone. And it's important to separate yourself and be independent, not split up. I'm not talking about leaving your person. I'm talking about um, bringing your your connection into balance, into harmony, into equality, so that it's an equal give and take. Because I feel that 10 of wands is telling me that you've been given a lot more to this situation or this person than what they've been giving back to you. The hermit card is there telling you, take this time out, okay, to contemplate, to soul search, to really think long and hard about what you want to do. You know with that priestess there, in your gut, what you need to do, okay? You need to be you. You need to be you again. I feel like you've lost yourself. And as a result of taking the time out from this person, from this connection, you are bringing, look at this, self-reliant. Yes, you're bringing that harmony, that balance, that equal give and take. And you're putting yourself in the queen of swords energy, which is making you independent, self-reliant. You, that codependency energy is going, it's gone. And you're moving towards your wishes fulfilled. Happy, happy outcomes. A passionate new beginning. Maybe there's going to be an apology from someone. Or maybe this is just if you are already in a relationship where you've been giving your all to this person. And perhaps it's not been reciprocated. Maybe it's been a little bit one-sided. It's taking that step back and allowing yourself to become independent again. Because you can be independent and very much connected respectfully in a relationship that's going to bring harmony, balance and just everything back into control for you. You're becoming self-reliant here. There's a, a change coming for you which is going to be so positive, very positive for you in fact. So give each other space, give yourself some space. Because by having the space and the time out, you're bringing everything back into balance for yourself. And you're finding you again. Okay, my lovely. So I really hope this helps. Hope it resonates. If it does, let me know in the comments box. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. As it really does help to support me. So this is all about you now, Virgo. This is all about you.